Unlike other Konami titles that started in the arcade, Castlevania didn't get an arcade game until after Castlevania 2. Haunted Castle is a retelling of the original Castlevania, but this time around, Simon Belmont has just gotten married. Hey, congratulations, Simon. But the moment is ruined when Dracula swoops in and steals his new bride. Drac. The fuck? So Simon sets out to rescue his newly acquainted wife. A bit of a different motive in the first game, but the goal is still the same, to find Dracula and to kill him. So the first thing you'll notice is that Simon walks like he just shit himself. Seriously, this is one of the worst walk cycles I've ever seen in a video game. The next thing you'll notice is that enemies do an insane amount of damage to you. This is where this game's gimmick comes in. Since this is an arcade game, it is a genuine quarter eater. Sweet, bloody tears of a vampire, this game is brutal. In fact, I think this just may be the most difficult Castlevania game that exists. You die so easily. There is so much annoying instant kill bullshit in this game. Not to mention, you only have one continue. If you game over, no matter how far you are in the game, you start at the beginning. You could be fighting Dracula, the final boss of the game, and if you die, it's all the way back to stage one. This game is relentless. I've never seen a game that's this annoyingly difficult. This makes Ninja Gaiden look like a cakewalk. But enough about that, let's talk about the music. While I strongly despise the high difficulty of this game, the music is easily its strongest point. So once you traverse through five brutal levels, you cross the longest bridge I've ever seen in a video game. Seriously, the entirety of stage six is just a bridge and then Dracula. That's it. The whole final level is just a bridge. It's just a bridge. The last level in the game is a bridge. And now the final battle against Dracula begins. Man, I'm glad the whole hit his head thing doesn't apply here because that would kind of be impossible, wouldn't it? Once his first form is defeated, he transforms into... Oh, so now you want me to hit your head? Upon his defeat, Simon's bride is rescued and the castle crumbles. This game's ridiculous, man. I, I haven't beaten it. In fact, I never got past stage two. The sheer difficulty and frustration of this game makes it very difficult to recommend. Plus, it's very slow, it's awkward, and just not enjoyable, in my opinion. I'd skip this one. With that out of the way, it's time to get back to the console games. Let's continue with the Game Boy game, Castlevania The Adventure. Tune back tomorrow for that. Oh boy.